What's up you guys? Welcome back for another video. Happy Sunday. I hope your weekend is going great. Today I have for you guys a cleaning hacks and kind of like tips video. Some super easy things that I do around my apartment to keep it very clean and a lot of this stuff is very budget friendly. It's DIY like cleaning solution and you can use a lot of things you probably already have in your household. If you're new to my channel I do have a four year old son who is honestly constantly just like making a mess. Let's keep it real. So I have been so addicted to Pinterest lately and trying out little like DIY cleaning uh, solutions or things I can do around my place like I said to just keep it as clean as possible so I hope you guys enjoy this and today's video is a collab with my friend Nastasia if you've been like an OG YouTube watcher viewer for so long like myself you probably remember her channel as Laguna Beach Love 10 I believe it was now it's just her name um, but she's absolutely amazing at any type of room decor DIY dollar store DIY organization all that type of stuff on a budget and I know that you guys have mentioned you love those type of videos and that type of content so I'll link her channel and her exact video down below I would love if you would go show her some love on her page as well if you're coming over from her channel thank you so much for watching I'm genuinely like so happy to have you I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will link some other videos at the end of other types of content I do on my channel because I tend to just throw like everything in there I have meal prep my weight loss journey stuff with my son it's pretty much like my whole life somehow ingrained onto my channel but I'm so happy to have you I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend and let's just get into today's video all right, you guys, so the first thing we're doing is a little DIY cleaning solution for any type of combs or brushes in your place that are not only filled with hair, but are just like grimy. You're gonna take some warm water and one tablespoon of pure baking soda. I like to just kind of mix mine around so it's not all stuck at the bottom of the container. And all you're gonna do is pop anything in there that you'd like to clean. I usually set mine for like an hour to two hours and just like leave it while I'm doing other things. And then I will take out each item and lay it out on a towel you can see right away how much more sanitary and clean everything is and if there's still any hair stuck in there it makes it so much easier to just grab each piece and kind of pull it out and then everything is extremely clean so the second thing we're doing is we're just taking a little one dollar scrub brush I'm filling it up with half dish soap any kind that you have is fine and also half vinegar so this is kind of like a DIY cleaning solution I like to use this inside my bathroom in my shower um, it just gets all the grime off of the walls and also off the floor too like of a tub you can also use it in the kitchen but it saves you like six bucks from buying a normal cleaning solution at the store so the third thing is we're taking half a lemon uh, be sure to keep the other half because we're gonna use that for another hack but we're gonna use this to get off any super old water spots in the shower you can also use this in the kitchen on the sink on the faucet anywhere that has like old moldy or water stains this actually works amazing I originally found this on Pinterest um, it, it takes a good five to ten minutes to get everything off but once you're done the result is just amazing so next, I'm gonna show you how to clean your own blender, or in my case, Nutribullet. Just put some warm water in there with any type of dish soap, and you're literally just gonna turn on your blender and have it clean itself. It's so easy. I used to have a really, really big um, Vitamix, I think it was called, so it'll work totally fine on something like that, too. As you can see there, it just it's done. You dump it out, and you're good to go. So next up is if you have some old shoes that are extremely dirty, but you love the shoes, right? They're your favorite, you're not gonna stop wearing them. You don't wanna spend 50 bucks on new shoes. So you're just gonna take any nail polish remover that you have. I took a little cotton round there, and this does take a while. It took like a good 10 minutes off camera. Um, and this can clean any type of rubber soles um, that you have in the house. It's mostly good for sneakers, but it makes them look as new as possible. Of course, they're not gonna look like they just came out of the box, but it'll save you like 45 to 50 bucks on buying new shoes as you can see the ones on the top are so grimy on the bottom and the bottom pair result is just amazing and it's very very easy so next up we're doing a chemical free kitchen cleaner for your microwave taking half a cup of warm water and you're just gonna squeeze in half a lemon juice I'm sorry half a lemon cut a lemon in half and squeeze the juice in there is what I'm trying to say Put it in the microwave, set your microwave for three minutes, then once it's done, you're gonna let it sit for five minutes. Everything is gonna be just like coming off the sides and the bottom there. As you can see, when you go to clean it, everything will come off so easily. And boom, look at that. Like your microwave is gonna look brand new. The lemon juice just like makes all the grime come right off. It's so, so simple. So next up is whenever you have a sticker that is stuck on a picture frame or something you bought and you cannot get it off. I don't know what it is about perfume, but if you just spray some perfume on there, it will literally 
literally just come off like it's so easy do like four or five sprays let it sit for like 15 minutes it will come right off I hate peeling off stickers where they come off and they leave like 10 little pieces of residue it's gross I just took something with a sharp edge there and it came right off so next up is when you have an old thing of disinfectant wipes or something that's empty but you want to reuse it. I just ripped off the packaging there and then I took some trash bags from underneath my sink. Basically all I did, I had all these sitting under there and I wanted to like do something with them. Um, so all I'm going to do is take them one by one and I'm going to roll them up kind of into each other. So you'll take it flat like this and you'll just roll it up in circular motions, very small. And once it's almost done, like once you're pretty much at the end right here, you'll take another one, put it underneath and like roll it in together. You're basically just making like your own roll so you can reuse that container. Um, so I think I took here like four or five, um, or I'm sorry, like seven or eight bags total. You can also use this if you have puppies or cats for like poop bags. You can just roll them up and put them in there and reuse the container so you don't have to throw it away. You could also put like really cute construction paper on the outside or something. I didn't have any left, um, but you can definitely make that container like cuter if you would like. And then the last one I have for you is super easy. It's not really even like a hack, but I'm just reminding you guys everything that you can purchase at the dollar store. We all know I love just shopping on a budget and um, if you can get all these cleaning supplies each for a buck, we have the pine salt, vinegar, um, baking salts. I also have an ice cube tray because I'm gonna do a DIY bath bomb type of video. So I just wanted to remind you guys a bunch of cleaning supplies and tools. You do not have to spend seven to eight bucks on each one at a store. Definitely be sure to hit up the dollar store first. So that'll do it for today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, I would love if you would click the subscribe button down below and maybe browse some of my other content if you wanna to get to know me a little bit better. I will link some other videos here, here, and here for you regarding daily vlogs with my son, my weight loss and meal prep stuff, and then also some beauty videos. So whatever topic it is that you're interested in, hopefully I have something that can pertain to you. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend and I will see you tomorrow with a new video.